What's up everybody? Neil with Nexus 7 Soft Modder. Today I'm going to show you how you can get rid of those soft keys and look like more of a baller with your device. Alright, here's my Nexus 7. I'm rooted for a root guide. On Nexus 7, check out Nexus 7 Soft Modder. You can check out my article for this actual um, application, which I'll include a link to a root guide, or you can just look for a root guide on Nexus 7 Soft Modder. Regardless, you're rooted. Let's get rid of these uh these pesky uh soft keys down here. Go into the Google Play Store and search GMD space auto hide soft keys and you'll see there'll be a star and it says root. So you're gonna download that. I've already downloaded it. Let's open it up. Alright, so I'm gonna run through some of the basic options, the main ones you need to know. Um there is a pro version. And I would actually look into the pro version because there are some uh, benefits. Well, I'll go through that a little bit later. All right, first thing, I want to enable it. Then it's going to actually uh, lock my screen again. All right, <clears throat> soft keys are gone, and it's replaced by this little trigger. Pretty cool. Um, if you're running a stock KitKat on Nexus 7, it's going to kind of expand the screen and give it a better feel. If you're... Uh, it works with every launcher, but I didn't really like it on the uh, the Google Google launcher, which there's a link to how to get that launcher in this article on Nexus 7 Soft Modder. So check that out. Um, but let's go over the options. So soft keys are gone, but let's uh, customize some stuff. All right, so notification. This is actually pretty cool. It lets me um, disable and enable it just from the uh, from the notification pull down. Um, start at start on boot. If you always want it running when you restart your device, then check that. <clears throat> um, it works in landscape mode, so don't worry about that. So uh, one of the cool things about the pro version is color. You can actually this isn't gonna work for me. You can change the color of the trigger down here. Also, you can make the trigger invisible, so it'll still be there, but it'll just be censored and. Everything will work fine. It's like it's invisible, which I wish I could have, but it's on a pro, ver pro version. I'm not going to pay for that. But what you can do is customize the trigger. I can change the width. So you see it just expanded all the way across the bottom of the screen. But I like mine pretty small. Oh, see with the pro version, you can also, also reduce it below 20%. But uh, I don't think that's necessary. I think 20% is just is fine. Um... You can actually change the position of it at the bottom of the screen. You can't put it on top or anything weird. I can move it all the way to the right, all the way to the left. But I want mine in the middle. And you can uh, change the sensitivity scale, which is pretty important. Okay, so another cool feature, you go to themes. You can change the theme of, uh, of the actual uh, soft keys when you bring them up in the quick bar. So there's Nexus, there's Nexus 2, Galaxy, uh, Honeycomb, a bunch of different ones. Let's try Honeycomb and I'll show you real quick. Right down here. Oh, you can't see it. Let me change the transparency of it. Another option, you can change the transparency of the bar. So you'll see right now, I bring it up and it's super dark. And I changed how it actually looks by its theme. So another theme, let's go to Nexus 2. I changed it. So you can see the theme change down there, <coughs> uh, which is pretty cool. All right, what else can you do? Change the transparency. I, it's obviously for this video. I should have it all the way, all the way uh, up. <coughs> Sorry, all the way down. But if you want it to be completely transparent, you go all the way up, and you can. Uh, the bar is actually pretty pretty clear. You can still see the soft keys, but that's it. Uh, you can change the the size of the quick bar. Let's show you. So let's make it pretty dark. <clears throat> let's change the size to really big. So look at that. It's pretty damn big. I can change the button spacing if you want it really far apart. Or if you want the buttons right next to each other. You can also do that. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty awesome. <clears throat> um, again, it makes it look different. No more soft keys at the bottom. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope this uh, tutorial helped. If you want the full guide and uh, more details and information, check out the article on Nexus 7 Soft Modder and enjoy, guys.